Oh, Grayson is taking us down to the Hub City for tonight's Focus on Mississippi. The Pocket Museum in Hattiesburg was in the news last week because of some vandalism that had taken place there. And Walt realized then not everybody knows about this unique landmark, so we hope his report will change that. The first thing you notice as you get to the entrance of the Pocket Museum is a trail of water. Well, actually paint, but it's supposed to be water. And as your eye follows it, you find yourself gazing into the heart of the Pocket Museum. And some people will only see an alley, but those are the same people who think the water is only paint. Because the Pocket Museum, to me, is a place where your imagination and your sense of humor is what's really on display more than the things you find here. Because to me, the items tucked into the nooks and crannies and along the walls or on the pavement are here for you to make of them what you will. And they are capable of being makeable into most anything you want them to be. The power boxes, for instance, converted by a little paint into a honey factory and delivery system can be a complete story in and of itself. Or you can make it the beginning of a story about play-like forest creatures who come here unseen to collect the honey. And the Pocket Museum started as a display in an unused window in the old Sanger Theater in downtown Hattiesburg, filled with all sorts of intriguing items for folks to stroll by and see, while the world was shut down and six feet apart in the COVID pandemic. But as time went by, well-wishers made additions and painted the sidewalk and gave us all sorts of oddities to fool our eyes and make us chuckle or give us something to think about. Drew Young, who's guiding a group of musicians from Sweden here today, can tell us what the Pocket Museum is. Well, I'm still figuring that out. That's what I love about it. It's, it, it's uh, I was saying earlier to them, it's a way to get people out of their cars, and it's a way to get people uh, engaged in uh, exploration and adventure and finding things on the side of the road, and it gets people to something to, way to talk to each other, like we're doing right now. There you go. Yeah. There are rules posted, so we know about the little displays out in the open in the alley. All summed up, they simply say we're on our own, not to smash them or steal them. The honor system. And if we break the honor system, I guess the result of that will be on display here too.